Hey guys, it's Matt, or welcome to Speed Tutor, and welcome to the best free Unity assets for April, May 2025. And I've got a selection of the best textures, assets, editor extension, models, and everything that you can get for free for this month. And I have a massive playlist which I'll put down below, which will get every single video from the years that I've been making this series. So make sure to let me know in the comments if you find any of these useful. And be sure to throw a like on this video and make sure you subscribe because it helps me out massively. And also do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So we've got the easy peasy first person controller and this one has a little bit of everything. It's got smooth jumping, it's got dynamic sprinting and sliding, crouching, ceiling detection, head bobbing, customizable FOVs when you run, a quite a nice selection of different moves that you can do. We've got the prototype map, which is exactly what it suggests, perfect for prototyping, debugging, testing, so you can make your level design easier, change the colors, and just use something for messing around and prototyping in your own levels. The next one is the animated cute girl full and SD character. And this is a cute girl with 2D animations, all with bones, with 2D rigging, with eight different basic animations, with idols, walking, running, wing pose, idols, and other different variations. We've got the easy bike system, which is perfect for two wheeled style vehicle setups and you can ride across various different terrain objects and different physics based materials. So it's got the 3D bike model, it's got a camera rig and script setup. You can change the basic script and change all the parameters to make this more suitable for the application that you're looking to use. We've got the Brawl Battle Arena freebie which I quite like this one. This is a selection of 13 models in one demo scene in a looks like a nice top-down style if you had objects to collect and a sort of arena to fight in. We've got the waypoint marker system and this one allows you to add guides and waypoint markers over the top of characters. It can be used in 2D or 3D. It's easy to set up and you can use this off screen or on screen and it's got a bunch of customizable settings to choose how this will work. Got a random one here, but it's the functional washing machine. <laughs> so it's got three different variations, the low poly model, custom script, event manager, and it allows you to put little things inside like this example with the rubber ducks to make it simulate a washing machine. We've got the tentacles of visual effects for URP. So this one is pretty much a functional visual effects, which creates a goo character, which has the goo and the sort of tentacles that come out of it. And it does include a bunch of sound effects to be able to look and customize this effect. We've got one called inflatables, which if you want a party scene with a slide, a pool, a bouncy castle, and other toy items with 78 different objects and various selections. We've got the Lighting Box 2 Next Generation Lighting Solution, which is a solution to help you create better lighting with post process included. You can drag and drop with an easy settings menu. You've got different shaders and different packs to get this working. And as they suggest to make your lighting look more like Unreal's workflow or the Frostbite engine, to give that realistic look. We've got the Easy Kara Hisak 2D Character Pack, and this is a fully animated character from the Easy Kara 2D Animation Pack series with 17 high quality animations across Run, Idle, Attack. It's got optimized sprite sheets, and it's for perfect for platformers and 2D games. We've got the Frog Marauder, which is in the style of the Valheim video game, which is fully optimized and modular for any specific device, even mobile with around 1,400 in triangles with three different textures with a very simplistic design. We've got the time tweaker. This allows you to add a toolbar that's customizable at runtime, which allows you to affect time scale. So you can adjust this without making this happen in script. We've got the last one here, which is the hierarchy focus debug console. This allows you to see which errors are actually on which object in the hierarchy rather than just being in the console and it taking you that object. It will show you in the hierarchy that you've got so many issues with this particular object. And I think it's a really nice visual cue actually so do be sure to check out all the links below because i'll add every single asset that i featured here and the full selection and do be sure to check out unity's massive sale the video that i created recently on all the bundles and savings that you can find and do be sure to come and check out my patreon too to get over 225 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else and a big thank you to all my patrons big thank you to peter stein a very shooter and party of 10 for their amazing support so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.